Hello everybody. I have a ton of stuff listed on eBay and I wanted to make a video sharing what all was listed because a lot of these things I've had for years and I wanted to make a video record of owning some of them. And I just, it's hard to do this and I absolutely love seeing groups like this all together. This is really freaking cool. So I'll just get started with it. We have some, uh, unopened vintage NASCAR wax. We have a few factory sets. We have some PSA 10 cards. We have some rookie cards of Earnhardt, of Jimmy Johnson, Earnhardt's first upper deck card, some uh, rookies of Raja. Uh, he's got some Tony, Brindig Tony Breidinger, first year rubber cards, first year sheet metal cards of Dale Earnhardt, Mark Martin, First time they had a three-in-one memorabilia card. Uh, and it, There's just tons of stuff here. I have a uncut mini sheet of Dale Earnhardt's 1989 Max Pit Crew Champion card number 60. All right, I'm just going just gonna to flow right into this. We'll start out with this group of vintage NASCAR inserts. This is available in just a single lot. 97 Chris, Press Pass Crystal Balls got the die cut and the regular versions. Lap leaders. There's a lot of really cool stuff in here. All duplicates I have in my master set that I'm making. There's a oil slick of Bill Elliott. This was, I just pulled this recently uh, in a box. This is a case hit, which is really cool. That was one of the, where you can make your own card back in the day. Unfortunately, this can't be redeemed anymore. Just a lot of cool inserts that I've just accumulated. Sometimes I've bought duplicates. Sometimes they're just pulled from boxes. That's just what I had left. These are the parallels. Inserts from the Max. Tony Stewart rookie. The Scorger parallels. And then I have some Myrtle Beach cards in here too. And in this listing, I made that on purpose. I didn't list everything because one, I wanted it to be really easy to just get it up there. And also I wanted to give people some pretty cool value, get some, some cool cards. So these are the Myrtle Beach cards right there. Single file and Daytona begins or 1988 begins, single file. Davey rookies, Allen, and then a uh, Ricky Hendrick. So that's available in one single lot. And then have a 1988 Max Myrtle Beach Phil Parsons. This is the Myrtle Beach version, so it does not mention his wife, Marcia, in the family area. In the Charlotte version, they corrected it, so this is only available in the Myrtle Beach version. If you see, this is a really... Let's see. So I've mentioned before that I was able to tell from the Myrtle Beach cards so this is a Charlotte card. I know the brown is, or the, the white is yellowing a little bit. And you can see the difference in the color saturation on the blue. It's darker on the Phil Parsons, which would have been pulled out of either a pack or a factory set. And since re revealing the third version of 1988 Max, there's going to be some of the single file cards and 1988 begins or not single file but when i pulled some of those myrtle beach only myrtle beach only i say that with quotes because they're not myrtle beach only they're in the, the third version as well or technically the second version charlotte's the third it's like an in-between version so they're the it's just it's darker it's darker so might not be in all of them that's just something i noticed back in 1995 1996 when i first started getting the packs 1996 and uh, yeah, there's a difference there. So anyway, uh, Phil Parsons without Marsha. This and the Talladega Streaks are the two bigger cards in that set that people go after. Talladega Streaks, for some reason, is just going nuts. And uh, yeah, so that's that. I have a lot of Jeff Gordon cards. These are, I think they're all inserts. No, they're not all inserts. 97 Crystal Ball, Lap Leaders. This has the little pullout. Let's just show that where it... Double take. Got 
the 50th anniversary card. Yeah, just some cards. The 97 press pass, 96 press pass. Then this I purchased off of eBay. This is along with that same lot of Jeff Gordon cards. It's an autograph. Looked good to me. I thought it was cool because it was on the uh, press pass Optima XL card. You can see significantly taller. And yeah, so that's included in that. And then also these inserts are included in that as well. The 95 Zenith helmet card. Is that the 96 or 90? 95 tribute. You got the promo uh, clear. Wait, what is this one called? I can't remember uh, the, the name of the set, but it's a clear acetate card. They made these in the set as well, but this is the promo version. You got a Chris, uh, emerald proof that's uh, out of 380, but in 97, they didn't put the serial number, machine serial number. You got the die cut rede redeemed gold version of the cup chase card clear cut this is a promo for m force four versions of that if you have number four out of four i'm looking for that one for my set uh fastest qualifying speed jeff gordon rookie card 92 tracks and then two of the i think these were one every 100 packs or something championship card out of 98 stealth card number zero i decided that i'm not gonna go with the stealth uh i'm not gonna go with 98 anymore I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to focus on the 96 and 97 stuff. And oh, that reminds me. I have some memorabilia cards. All right. Show that at the end. Uh, okay. So that's the Jeff Gordon lot. And then individually listed, I have these Immaculate. That's a Raja Karuth rookie. He did really great. He finished, what, third or fourth in Bristol yesterday? Today's Saturday. So, and uh, yeah, that's... It's just on the case there. I'm numbered out of 99. 2003, so that's, or 2023, that's a rookie. And then this Tony is second year card, numbered out of 25, number 5 of 25 out of Immaculate. Oops. And then this partial rainbow of Raja. Got the Disco out of 75. I can't remember all the names. Pulsar, purple pulsar, something out of 199. You got the green out of 249. Blue and red out of 299. And then 499 for the blue. The red, I don't think, is numbered. Yeah, and then these are unnumbered. You got the orange. You got the, I think this is the retail purple hyper prism. I can't, I don't know. <laughs> white sparkle out of the white sparkle packs from National Treasure. You got just the regular prism. Got the prism silver and then the full rainbow of the prismatics you got the silver the white sparkle and then the base so that's really cool then we got some jimmy johnson rookies this is his first memorabilia card which was i think these are in the blaster boxes the hot treads you'd get like one rubber card every blaster box and i think this is one of them uh, out of 2002 high gear Numbered out of 1555. And then we have 2000 maximum rookies. Card number 38. Got one. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And then you got one, two, three, four, five of the 2000 SP authentic rookie cards. That's really cool. Let's see, I have to rethink how I'm doing this. I have to reconsider how I'm doing this. So, all right. Oops. Let me do this, we'll show off some boxes. We have 1996 wheels crown jewel they had real diamonds and real gems and things on the cards which was cool and i don't know if you remember or if you saw my other video the wheels shrink wrap from back in the early 90s or mid 90s i guess it wasn't the logo wasn't as prominent as it was later on k 
case in point. So there's no logos on the front part of the shrink wrap, but then once you get to the back or the sides in the back, you see it, but here it's all over, which is, you know, what we're used to. So really cool. We got 1990, what is this, 97 Super Series? Yeah, 97 Upper Deck Super Series. This is an absolutely wild, wildly rare set. Wildly rare box. There's the odds right there. What you're looking for is you're looking for the, uh, there's SPX autographs. There's all kinds of really cool stuff in there. And if this thing doesn't sell, I might very well just open it up. Same with some of these other boxes, too. Uh, let's do the Pinnacles. 95 Pinnacle Zenith. 97 Pinnacle Certified. I thought that was a totally certified box. And I was thankful that somebody on eBay sent me a message and let me know, hey, that's just a regular certified box. I don't know where... I thought I saw totally certified on there, and yeah, I was happy that I didn't let it keep going like that. All right, so then we have 90, what is this, 98 Wheels High Gear. You can get race use flag cards. Earnhardt is in this. I believe there are Earnhardt autographs in here. Oh, 99 Wheels High Gear from 98 Winston Cup season. That's when the flags... The, the relics are from 98. 2000 Press Pass Stealth. I believe Earnhardt's 2000 autograph is in there. And I believe his uh, Gear Grippers is in there as well. Or it's not called Gear Gripper at that time, was it? Just race use glove cards. Okay. We have, what is this, 97? 96 Scoreboard. Get a possible Earnhardt autograph in here. Really freaking cool. All right, so we got those all set up. Let's go to the 96 SPX box. Some gold parallels in here, some autographs in here. I think I think there's a Jeff Gordon and Terry Labonte autograph in here. Is that right? Labonte autograph, commemorative card, Jeff Gordon autograph, tribute card. Yeah. Really cool. This box weighs like nothing. All right. And then we will go to first time Dale Jr. and Carrie were featured on a NASCAR card. There's a mom and pops or a tracks team set version of them uh, on a card. I think Kelly's in that photo too. And then there is a, I think who pointed that out? It was Kyle pointed out that he was in like 91 max or something in, in a shot of uh of the win, uh, victory lane Earnhardt Jr. was in victory lane which was cool I didn't I didn't know that so that was really cool to see so these are PSA 10s last time I checked this was the only one that was graded PSA 10 of this and this is from 1993 this is also from 1993 and this is action-packed I think there's like 50 or something these in a 10. I don't know exactly for sure. Last time I checked though. And this is a box of 1996 Upper Deck Road to the Cup. Upper Deck made its first series of NASCAR cards in 1995. They were supposed to have an Earnhardt card in there. They were slated to and it didn't make it because I think there was a contract or licensing dispute with Earnhardt and I love that he did that. And what they did is this is the style of the 95 set so when they included this, they included this card in the set and they made it out of a 300 card set, they made it card number 301. These are just on the top loaders. These have nothing to do with the actual card. So there's six Dale Earnhardt's first upper deck card. Would you call it an upper deck rookie? Today, I think they would. I, you know, I think any card company, if it was the first time that they were in their product, I think they would just call it a rookie card. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's just what I think. Anyway, it's his first upper deck card, 1996. Really freaking cool. And then we have 1988, the first time a picture of Earnhardt was featured in the Max sets in a widely produced distributed set. I know we have the 
Kitco card. I know we have the 83 Uno. And this is the first time you ever appeared in a car on a card where you could pull it out of a pack. And it's not doesn't say his name anywhere, I don't think. No, it does on the back. So anyway, this is the first time, this is the first card you could pull an Earnhardt card. Uh, I think, so the way I look at this card is similar to, I think there's a 52 tops or 51 Bowman or something like that. There's the team cards of the Yankees. And while it's still Mantle's first card for Topps or Bowman, whatever year it is, they don't consider that a rookie. It sells for considerably less. And he's still on the card. So I think it's worth a little bit more. And it's worth noting. So there's six of these here. This was card number 87. This was only released in the uh, Charlotte version. When I opened those packs of the second version of... Uh, 88 max a few months ago i did not pull one of these so i don't know for sure if they were in that in that version or not and anyway they're here you got six of them and those are really really awesome those are really really awesome okay then we have two factory sets of 1989 max there's an earnhardt card number three rookie card in each one of these the thing you want to look for, learn from the guys in NASCAR radio, you want to look for the holes in the bottom of the shrink wrap. I opened, I think, two of the sets that I that I purchased, and they were they were they were great. They had the Earnhardt rookies in them. So there's another one with the hole in the bottom. They look totally correct to me. And also in this lot, you get both sets, and then you get seven raw. Earnhardt rookies 1989 max and then again there's a 1988 version of this photo and there's there's a lot that goes along with that I made videos about that so if you want to check that out you can look on my channel you get one two three four five six seven and I have to note the sixth and the seventh card have some damage so and that's in the listing too you can see better pictures of them they're kind of like bent up hard to tell that you can see it right there let's see if we can I think you can see it so so that's really cool uh and then this is available this is that uncut mini sheet I believe this is available to like max collector club members don't exactly know how when why like what the situation was and these were really cool. I remember hearing about these in 1995, 1996, when my friend Bernie told me that uh, that they existed when I started collecting 89 Max. So this is Earnhardt's Pit Crew Champion card. Pretty cool. And it'll come in this acrylic case. Is really neat. All right, and then we're gonna go with the three and one 1998 triple gear relic cards. These are incredible. These is a piece of fire suit, piece of tire, piece of sheet metal, and this card is typically numbered out of 33. There you can see the serial number. And then they wrote sample on the back. So what I assume, since this is machine numbered, I assume that this was a return card that somebody somebody redeemed and got in the mail and there was something wrong with it. Either it was damaged or something and they sent it back and they got a replacement, which would have had a blank number serial number area right here. That white place would have been blank. And then they wrote sample on the back so they could hold onto the card so it wouldn't be... Uh, wouldn't be re-released and this is a 1998 press pass triple gear three and one of terry levante fire suit tire sheet metal multicolor. looks like it was actually got some damage on it which is really cool not on the card but on the sheet metal and this one has that blank field like i was mentioning happy to see this one are happy to have that one. And then we're going to go to the 1996 Press Pass M4 sheet metal cards. 
we have these both are vault cards. The Martin's really clear, the Earnhardt's really yellowed, and that's because this is the hard acrylic version, and the Martin is a soft acrylic version. And these both don't have a serial number on the back. These would have been set aside as a vault card in case somebody got one of these out of a pack and it was damaged and they could send it in for a replacement. Once Press Pass got that card that was in the pack, they would handwrite a serial number in there. And I've had some of those as well. So these are really, really cool cards. And without a serial number, very rare. First memorabilia cards ever released in all of sports, 1996 Press Pass burning rubber cards. Kyle Petty, card number one. Dale Earnhardt, card number three. Three, right yep and these were just regularly pack pulled I still have never pulled one of these out of a pack I'm still trying to do that I think I have two boxes left in my personal collection that I'll one's a retail one's a hobby I would like to have one of each sealed and we'll see how that goes all right numbered out of 500 incredibly incredibly rare cards really cool these are just incredible to me I love having these cards. I have a full set of these that I had since 1996, 97, and that's just really awesome, really awesome. So, and then to go along with these cards, the three-in-ones, triple gears, I am selling the entire, let's see what we can do here. Triple gear rubber card set, nine cards. It only has one piece of rubber. Let's get the sample out there so you can see that the style and the design is the same you'll notice that on the fire suit and the sheet metal cards the design is a little bit different but the three in ones and the rubber cards are identical except for the fact that they have photos of the fire suit and the sheet metal but right here they have uh they have all of them on there and these are numbered out of 33 these were redemption only and then these rubber cards are numbered on a 250. Numbered on a 250. And then I have a partial set of the fire suits. Which you have Rusty, Terry, Bobby, Jeff, Jeff Burton, and Mike Skinner. And these are numbered out of 150. And the Jeff Gordon is a vault card. There's no serial number. So you can see here on the Jeff Burton and the Terry Labonte, there's a serial number. Jeff Gordon, no serial number. And we'll see the difference. See the design difference. This is what the burning rubber one looks like and the three in one, and this is what the fire suit looks like. All right, and then an entire set of the 1998 Triple Gear sheet metal cards. All except two are multicolor. Terry and Mark are not multicolor. And then I have one, two, three, four that are three color, which is wild. Rusty three color, Earnhardt two color, Terry, Jeff Gordon three color, Bobby two color, Mark single color, Mike Skinner three color, Dale Jarrett three color, and Jeff Burton multicolor. It really, fr oh yeah, here, let's show the difference. Really cool. So that's it. That's everything I have listed right now on eBay. I'm hoping for a good showing. Uh, th there's some bids on some stuff right now. There's tons of watchers, tons of watchers. Um, but, you know, watchers are watchers. And, yeah, I'm just really excited to see what happens with these. I am really was really proud to own these for as long as I did. And whoever they go to, I hope, I hope you love them. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like the video, you know what to do. All right, thanks.